I did it again. I bought over 50 video games on eBay to flip on eBay. Hello guys, how are you today? My name is David DeFranco from defran.co slash eBay sales. Boom, check it out right below. That is my bit.ly shortcut URL to my 100% transparent Google Sheets detailing every single item I buy to flip on eBay, whether it's from Goodwill, eBay itself, wherever. If I buy an item with the purpose of reselling it, it's on that spreadsheet. And I'm all about transparency because you know what I like to say, if I can do it, you can do it. I am nobody special. And quick note, check this out. Before turning on the camera today, I actually got an offer from someone to buy 15 lightning to three and a half, Helba, three and a half millimeter audio cable adapters in white for $36. Now I asked for 42, but they're offering 36. $36 for 15 adapters. And I bought those adapters on eBay, guys. And of course, I'm going to accept the offer because that's easy money, easy, easy money. So I'm just, I'm just putting that out there, guys. I mean, if you're looking to make some cash and just gain some experience on eBay and in the uh, market of reselling, get started. Nothing is stopping you. Okay, so today's video is once again all about video games. I bought over 50 video games. Actually, I bought 55. This is only 51 of them. You know, only 51 of them. I actually have four Nintendo DS games arriving tomorrow. One of them is Metroid Prime Hunters First Hunt, I think it's called. I'm not really gonna profit off them too much, but I, I got four games for $5 plus like three or $4 shipping. So I got four DS games for less than 10 bucks. But the better deal is all of these video games I got for, I mean, it, it's hard to say they're combined a lot, but let me just say, at the end of the day, each disc, each unit probably cost me like a dollar or two, less than. So let's get started. And disclaimer, I have not looked through most of these, so that's the purpose of making this video, is I wanna show you guys my reaction of the games I bought, because some of these might be worth two or three dollars, some of them might be worth nine or ten dollars. So, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Now, it's gonna be a lot of work, it's gonna be a lot of work to list these, but it's gonna be a lot of fun at the same time. You know me, I just like to stay busy. All right, so grab a coffee, grab a snack, grab a beer, whatever you prefer to drink or eat, and enjoy. So, this is Freestyle EA Sports. Berg. They did write something on the desk. I'm not sure what that's for. And it is the purple back, which I've always thought is beautiful. Check that out. What Apple Watch? Oh, Twitter. Fisherman's, <clears throat> Fisherman's Bass Club. PlayStation 2. And yes, these are loose discs, which shouldn't really take away the value too much. NFL Street 3. EA Sports. Berg. All right, everybody, stop. Oh, <laughs> Danny sent me the thing about Twitter. Ace Combat 4, something happened to this disc, something horrible happened to the front of it. I have no idea how that happens, but the back looks pretty good. Not bad. Tourist Trophy, PlayStation 2. Another freestyle, so I can do quantity two. It is very nice, it makes my job easier. SOCOM 3 US Navy SEALs. I don't think I ever played this one. Was it good? I was a big, big fan of SOCOM 1 and 2, but I've never played 3. I don't think I have anyway. But man, SOCOM 1 and 2, great games. Speaking of great games, Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. What a great movie. I mean, game. The cutscenes were insane, but man, awesome experience. I loved it. RC Revenge Pro, PS2. Remember Acclaim? Man. Uh, Fight Night Round 3. By the way, most of these are PS2. Most of them. NHL 2004. Sports games in general don't sell for that much, but I guess the older the year, maybe the more valuable it is. Ghost Recon. Very cool. Hitman 2, another disc that apparently went through the washer. The Incredible Hulk, Ultimate Destruction. I have a feeling this one's got some value behind it, although the disc quality is not very good. I'll just have to put it down as acceptable, or maybe I'll just throw this one away. You know what? Not even gonna take the chance. Okay, that's, that's gonna hurt, but yeah, trash that one. Sorry, Hulk, nothing personal. 
Tiger Woods PGA Tour Golf. This one's got the black back. Pretty cool. Oh, this is a PS1 game, that's why. So, fun fact, PlayStation 1 games in general seem to sell better than PlayStation 2 games. Keep that in mind. Okay, Modern Warfare 2, Xbox 360. I think most people can agree. This game is a classic. Sorry, the exposure's a little high, but you get the idea. Madden NFL 2012, Xbox 360. So yes, we are now in the Xbox 360 section of the video, which is awesome. Actually, no, we're not, Never mind. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2010 for PlayStation 3. I think this is my first PS3 game that I've gotten for eBay. Very cool. Guitar Hero, Warriors of Rock. I've never played this one, Xbox 360. See, this is why I do these videos. Not only to give you guys an idea of what to look out for on eBay, but for me, it's fun to see what games I played and perhaps more fun to see what games I haven't played. Like this, Man vs. Wild. Sounds terrible, but it could be good. I don't know. Maybe it's good. I don't know. Just the title sounds cheesy. Madden 06. Xbox 360, by the way. Madden 08, Xbox 360. Call of Duty Ghost, my least favorite Call of Duty game, but still... Pretty cool that it's in here. And the conditions, actually really good. Really, really good condition. Very nice. DJ Hero 2. This one looks like someone took a shit on it. I don't know what, what happened there. I don't want, you know what? If this is worth something, I'll list it. But otherwise, I don't know if I feel like dealing with that. We'll see. I might just trash that one. NBA 2K15. Another sports game, another sports game, NBA 2K11, both of those are on the Xbox 360. This one actually might be worth money. Uh, Fable, The Journey? I never got into Fable. I just couldn't get into it, I don't know. But I've, I've, I have a feeling that's worth something. You know what, L let, me, let me search real quick, in real time. Always go down to sold when you tap filter. It's selling for $6, $8, about $9. Not bad, okay. Not bad. Look at this one. Another Dance Dance Revolution Supernova 2. I got this last time, but this one will list by itself. NBA 2K8. Another NBA 2K8, which is awesome actually. So I can list quantity two. Again, making it easier on me. NBA 2K14, I think I already did this. So maybe quantity two, I'm not sure. All these sports games out the while just kind of blend in with one another. Forza Motorsport 2, bonus disc. That's interesting. That could actually be worth something. Uh, 007 Quantum of Solace. Hopefully I said that right. Nah, quality's not very good on this one. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trash this one. Throw it out. NCAA 14, football. I mean, sorry, 09. Where the hell did the 14 come from? Am I blind? Apparently. Rapala, tournament fishing. This sounds exciting. The quality's in excellent condition because I don't think anybody wanted to play it. But I'm sure there's some fish freak out there that will buy this. I say freak, respectively. Um, Forza Motorsport 2. So there's, there's the actual game. Avatar, The Last Airbender on PS2. I have a feeling this is worth something. We'll see. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2008. Oh, this next one, a throwback. I used to play this all the time with, with my sister. Unfortunately, condition's okay. I don't know if I'm gonna list this. Rugrats on the PS1. Man, good times, guys. Good, good times. What a fun game. Zapper, One Wicked Cricket. <laughs> I've never heard of these games. I don't think I've heard of this anyway. College Slam on PS1. Cool. Hey, Maui. Thanks for stopping by. Black Ops 2, Xbox 360. Another Ghost on Xbox 360. Oh, th okay, this this is disc one. So I'll, I'll have to be sure to bundle these two together. What's up, Mal? Hi. Diablo 3 on PS3. 
That's a nice surprise. Very cool. And finally, Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End, PlayStation 3. But of course, we're not done yet. Now let's go through the games with cases. All right, so funny enough, I got a lot of these games directly from, uh, not directly, but th they had a red box case and I've actually never seen this red box case before. That's beautiful. This, this is the red box case that I'm used to seeing. And I haven't used red box in a while. I used to be obsessed with the red box. I'd go grocery shopping then I'd stop at Redbox real quick and rent the latest Blu-ray movie for like a dollar or two. But nowadays I just watch everything on Plex and whatever. And that's a beautiful wallpaper, isn't it? If you guys want the wallpaper, let me know and I'll link it in the comments. Actually, you know what? I'll just, I'll just link this right below in, in the description because I know I'm, I'm going to have somebody asking. Okay, so anyway, uh, UFC 2 on PS4. Okay, guys, we, we are, we're, we're talking about new games now. New generation. So UFC 2 on PS4. And Terraria on PS4, never played this. I've always been curious about it. Um, so I'm tempted to keep it, but I think I'll just sell it and buy it on PC. Doom on PS4, this is definitely a Blu-ray rental. I mean, um, Jesus, Redbox rental. You can tell by the codes right there in the middle. But still, hey, it's no different than the actual game. They just bought it from Redbox. I'm, I'm assuming they bought it. Mortal Kombat with a very dirty case, which by the way, I, I will not be including these cases. I'm just gonna put them in my own sleeve. This one might go in the trash, I don't know. Um, yeah, Mortal Kombat. Yeah, this case is terrible. What the hell happened to this thing? And um, Call of Duty World War II. Not my favorite COD, but yeah, it was fun. Not bad, IMO. Okay, so these have the actual cases. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, and they bought this game for $13.95. I probably got it for like $2, I don't know. And finally, Resident Evil Biohazard, such a good game. They got it for $25.95 uh, back in 2017. This case I'm just gonna throw out, and again, put this in its own paper sleeve. So guys, there you have it. Hopefully you're enjoying these eBay haul videos. I gotta say, my last haul video actually had a lot of positive comments. I think you guys are much more likely to enjoy something like this than just an eBay tips video, right? I mean, of course, I, I, I will be talking about tips in future videos, but for me and for you, I just think it's more fun to show you everything I bought. And also, in my kitchen right now are seven iPad mini cases I bought as well. Very, very cheap, and I'm going to try to flip them for maybe like $10 or $12 each. Um, and of course, I have those DS games coming tomorrow. And Friday, I have 25 three-way um, coaxial splitters coming. I got 25 of them for about $25, so about a dollar a unit. And I looked up sold comps on eBay. I could sell each one for between like five and eight dollars. So that's really, really good profit once it all adds up. Um, so there you go. Now I'm gonna go accept this offer, get $36 for those cables. I'm telling you guys, it's out there. The money is out there. You just gotta know where to look and uh, you just gotta know what to do. It's all about knowledge, baby, and experience. Experience is definitely important. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's below in the comments. What is your favorite title that I talked about today and why? Thank you so much. I hope you're staying safe and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.